Guys, if it isn't obvious already, the Blue Jays want nothing to do with Yusei Kikuchi. Yusei Kikuchi was originally brought onto the Blue Jays as a project. He never had a good MLB season, but he offered some high velo with his fastball and some pretty sneaky good secondary pitches. And according to the eyeball test, it looked like Yusei could be a really promising MLB starter one day. But according to the results test, he's absolutely trash. He was absolutely destroyed in 2022, throwing up a 519 ERA in 102 thirds innings pitched. And now the Blue Jays are trying to find a way to move him out of the starting rotation, but it isn't that easy. Let's set up this entire video by first recognizing Yusei Kikuchi's contract. He is owed $20 million for the next two years. That's a lot of money for a player who would normally be cut after his 2022 campaign, but Ross Atkins just can't get rid of him that easily. Why? Because there's politics involved. Imagine how bad that would look for Ross Atkins cutting away $20 million of Rogers money, and then imagine him asking for even more money on some experimental pieces, he probably won't get it. So unfortunately, Ross is going to have to get a lot more clever with the way he's handling Yusei Kikuchi's fate. And that creativity has already begun, starting with the 2022 trade deadline when they acquired Mitch White. Now, Mitch White's 2022 numbers aren't actually better than Yusei Kikuchi's. However, Mitch White is a lot younger than Kikuchi, and he's actually showed some success in the Dodgers organization, throwing up a 3.58 ERA over 105 and two-thirds in pitched. And looking beyond just the ERA of 2022, Mitch White actually has some pretty good savant page numbers compared to Yusei Kikuchi. But unfortunately, another curveball was thrown at Ross Atkins, and Ross Stripling became a free agent. This opened up a spot for both Yusei and Mitch to pitch in 2023. But Ross Atkins could not let that happen. That's why they brought on veteran pitcher Chris Bassett to fill up another role in that rotation, pushing White and Kikuchi down to compete for that fifth spot. But again, Yusei Kikuchi will probably win the starting job, why? Because $10 million is why. However, there are a few ticking time bombs for Yusei Kikuchi in 2023. The Blue Jays have elected not to trade away number one prospect Ricky Tiedemann, and if he ends up having some success in the minors, and Kikuchi continues to be bad, which he probably will be, this gives a good reason for Ross Atkins to call up the number one prospect and push Yusei out into the bullpen. Not to forget, Hunjin Ryu is actually coming off of a Tommy John surgery and should be back around June and July to also push Yusei out of a starting job. So either way, it seems like mid-2023, Yusei Say Kikuchi will probably move to the bullpen, where he's actually kind of better? But if he's still putting up those kind of numbers out of the bullpen, I think that's good enough reasoning to cut him for the 2024 season. Let's be honest, the Blue Jays will never come out and say that they're trying to get rid of Yusei Kikuchi, but would you want that kind of pitcher on your team who's trying to win a World Series? No. And it's pretty clear by the Blue Jays roster moves that they don't want anything to do with Yusei Kikuchi anymore. But guys, let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about Yusei Kikuchi? I'm sure you got a lot of thoughts, just like I do. When do you think he'll be finished as a Toronto Blue Jay? Or do you think he's actually gonna break out and have a good year? I mean, please enlighten me. And guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, guys, go Jays go.